What is up, my Fullestly Kings and Queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Bow Wow back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like he's responding to all the backlash he's been receiving since he announced his platinum package, diamond package, and gold package. But it was his diamond package for $1,000 what had the people talking. Now, he said, you see, when I'm chilling, minding my business, staying off the net, they still have to talk about me. One week is Bow Wow sells out O2 Arena. He's a GOAT. So who wants to meet him for 1K? Your baby mama, Ninja. That's who. Read before you post about me. Stop playing with the dog. I definitely feel like everybody is kind of overreacting. Like, at least Bow Wow is dead giving a lot more perks with the package rather than just taking a picture with him and then keeping it moving. Because I'm not spending $1,000 just to go and take a picture with nobody. Now, it looked like somebody already purchased that $1,000 diamond package and he retweeted that. And also, people are buying tickets to go and see him. Bow Wow also said, as for a special VIP meet and greet experience, Experience, they will gain more access, more private time with me. Also, will gain access to my private club and everything you can name. There are three different packages to choose from. It's all about how close do you want your experience to be. Now, I mean, obviously, Chris Brown, like I said in my last video, he definitely set the tone for the meet and greet. The thousand dollar charge is definitely given very much Chris Brown, but the only thing is Bow Wow added more features to his. And I just really think it was funny because it looks like Mario jumped on the bandwagon as well when it comes to the meet and greets so for clarity purposes i was not going to do vip meet and greets for this tour um but because you requested it i'm putting them up also if you bought a ticket that came with a vip meet and greet you don't got to worry about buying vips again or meet and greets i see you in the with the caption love you package is coming soon the ticket vip are before the show and the others after the show stay tuned now i want to know who gonna spend their rent money and they last to go and see these 10 celebrities because it's clear that yesterday's price is not today's price well, that's all I got for that. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Are y'all paying for the VIP package for Bow Wow and Mario or either or or neither or? <laughs> Anyways, click. Let's move straight on to Glorilla back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like some people are not here for her response that she clapped back in her Facebook post after she posts this picture. Caption, I don't know what everybody else see, but all I see is a whole lot of ass. Now, a lot of people had some disrespectful body shaming mean things things to say people were like girl take that pamper off she's wearing a pamper this particular guy said that ish look like a effing granny diaper glorilla claps back and said but if i say something about how your baby look i'll be wrong don't get me started now of course i'm not gonna show the baby face because i don't play those games when it comes to babies babies are off limits people also had some things to say in the comment section she could have just insulted him and moved along but okay why is it so hard for a full-grown adult not to talk about children is there like a urge or something? The man talked about you. Why you gotta talk about his kid? Say something about dude or shouldn't. Cause it's plenty to say about old boy. So it's okay for her to mention kids cause y'all like her? She don't need to be talking about nobody baby when she looked just like a toddler herself. Now click honestly, this man should have known better than to go underneath her comment section disrespecting her body and just having something negative to say, period. I don't understand. If people don't have anything nice to say about somebody's clothes, body, whatever how it looks whatever the case may be is just don't say it at all and i mean if you go to that post on facebook pretty much everybody is saying the same thing but this particular dude she felt the need to say don't let me talk about your baby now my thing is glorilla is human so i'm pretty sure it was irritating her that people was disrespecting her and just plain old talking crap but the point is that is a child she didn't say anything really but we already know why would you even say but if i say something about how your baby look like you could have said anything about him it could have been any picture but you know when a person is hurt hurt people hurt people and nobody is right in this situation now i would say he most definitely started this but she could have just responded better and clapped back straight at him kids are off limits anyways y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that i'd love to know your thoughts but next in the click we got tiana taylor in the click today you guys and it looked like last night she had the biggest surprise of her life backstage but if you hear the amount of people in london that was singing her song she had an abundance of love inside of there take a look You 
guys, we got we got keep it, we got keep it light. Please keep it light. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, oh, good to see you. It's good to see you. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was the Janet Jackson. Like, like you know you a big deal if Janet is coming to your concert. Wow. She's definitely a major icon, so congratulations to Tiana Teller for being able to even experience a moment like that. Now, she wrote a heartfelt caption, and y'all could pause the video and read it, but she basically was thinking London. She, she just loved the fact that it was so much love and was excited to see Janet Jackson. Just all around good vibes and one of the best nights of her life. Now, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. But next in the click, we got Blueface Mom, Carlissa, back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like Carlissa just cannot help herself. Every time either Blueface, Krishan, or Jaden post, she always got something to say. Now, it looks like Blueface got some new music coming out and a new music video because he posted on his page. And she reposted and said, oh, he misses his mommy. She then posts, y'all already know who raised her. Now, this repost was from Jaden Alexis because she cooked. Then she tagged Jaden Alexis and said, Killing it the kitchen. Hashtag mommy duties while at Blueface Play. Oh, okay. Whatever that means. It's getting weird. It's most definitely getting weird. And then she had the nerve to post this. Someone said, Blueface tell Krishan he love her fro and she look very pretty. His mom said, no ma'am, I got proof he hates it. Hashtag Burhan. I don't know what the hell that is. But his mother is definitely a big ass bully. She is most definitely negative. Y'all think this is okay? I'm gonna keep on talking about it because at the end of the day, she is just ugh. like she literally sit on Instagram. As soon as her Instagram was deleted, she quickly made another one just because she miserable and she wish she was in a limelight and she wish she had the same attention that everybody else is getting. It's giving very much desperate. I can't believe this lady got people who back her up talking about this is a supportive mom. A supportive mom trolls everything that you do? Does a supportive mom try to expose you? Does a supportive mom wake up every day preaching about God but do ungodly things? And just wake up and choose drama? I mean, she's literally draining. I mean, honestly, the only thing I've ever agreed with this lady is on the fact that Krishan and Blueface definitely do not need to be together. And according to majority of the clique, I've seen it in the comments, everybody still feels the same way as well. So at the end of the day, it's like, girl, go get a life. Do something with yourself. She clearly be doing too much. Like, she posts her daughter and says, when your baby daddy call you fat, now this time grab you a bag, not a buster. And, bitch, you need to grab you a life. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let's move straight on to Asian the Brat back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like she could be back with an old boo that she tweeted the pic and said the biggest. Now, click, the reason why I'm saying I think this is an old boo is because the back of the head looked just like this zoo and she was booed up with him in the shave room when she threw a birthday party for him in New York. Now, y'all see the picture right here. This is CJ So Cool with her. This is a whole nother story. But anywho, Asian tweeted, I kissed the bitch in the club tonight for the first time. And honestly, I knew I was gay this whole time. I love that B already. So when she posted this picture, I'm like, is that a stud? Like, I don't know. But that didn't even make any sense. <laughs> So you kissed the girl and you knew you was gay. All right. If you just want to come out, just say that. But the problem is that when she posts this picture, people did not have nice things to say. One person said, you just hopped from rapper to rapper, huh? Shaking my head. Another said, she been passed around, robbed, chain snatched. A pregnancy wouldn't surprise me. Another person said, in two weeks, he going to be talking about you next but we definitely root for you wasn't you crying like crazy telling everybody you were gonna die over vaughn she's been passed around so much industry coochie boy i never seen so many people worried about somebody's vagina if the girl want to 17 million ninjas what does it got to do with anybody else men do it every day at the end of the day i feel like this she should just keep her little uh, relationships offline because it's just bringing the narrative where people is gonna always say she hot from this person to that person because it most definitely looks like that every time she does talk to somebody she put them out there and then when it don't work out she does bring up king vaughn and saying she missed him so i do see that a lot as well but at the end of the day can't nobody tell you how you grieve can't nobody tell you who the f so it is what it is y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel i'd love to know your thoughts oh and about these photos cj is just trolling he just i don't know he all over the place anywho the answer to this question is no, 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 no. Yeah, 
who clicked that is all i got for the click news i love you guys so much on the road to 50k hit that subscribe button to join the flawlessly kings and queens make sure you guys are following my social media so y'all can stay tuned and keep updated on the stuff that i cannot post on youtube all business inquiries for sponsorship promo and more is in the description below i'll see you guys in the next upload bye